What is your win rate? That is a classic newbie question that we keep hearing again and again. Here is why this question reveals that you are a complete newbie to sports betting. You assume that the higher a person's win rate, the more successful they are at betting, right? Okay then, any time I can give you a pick with a 99% win rate. Yes, you heard that right, a 99% win rate is possible. Bet over 1.5 goals on any NHL hockey game. Yes, in 99% of those games, you will win. Because a 0-0 draw is very rare in this high-scoring sports league. What's the catch? You are betting $100 to simply win $1. Yes, the odds you are going to get is 1.01. Not great, huh? So, you will be winning most of the bets and still not making any actual profit. The bottom line, win rate is a myth made by scam handicappers to mislead naive newbies. So I ask you, should the success of sports prediction services be measured in win rate or in profits? Can you go to the store and pay with a high win rate, or would you prefer to pay in cold hard cash made from sports betting profits? In the end, long-term profit in units or dollars is the only measure of quality in a sports prediction service. The truth is, win rate is one of the most irrelevant statistics in sports investing, often used by handicappers as a trap to learn new accounts. A high win rate does not guarantee profit, but seems important to the untrained eye. Let us use an example to illustrate win rate and profits. For this example, I'll use bettors George and Peter. George makes relatively safe bets on strong favorites with odds like 1.35 or minus 300. After 10 bets, George has won 7 wagers and only lost 3. That's fantastic, right? The result is impressive and it's 70%. That's the win rate, which gets advertised as a triumphant success by his handicapping service. A closer look, however, reveals that George's strategy is deeply flawed. With the same one unit bets, George lost 1 times 3 equals $3 on the 3 losing wagers. The total is a net loss of 55 cent units for every 10 wagers made in this system. Despite the fantastic 70% win rate, George actually loses more than half a unit for every 10 bets. Now, let's take a look at Peter. Peter makes riskier bets on underdog lines and parlays with greater value. Though Peter recognizes that a 70% win rate is unlikely on odds like 2.10 or plus 110, there is long-term value in this strategy. Peter made 10 bets and won only 5, losing the other 5 wagers. The result is a meager 50% win rate, which, if you compare that to George's, it looks very inferior. However, using one unit wagers, Peter made 1.35 times 7 minus 7, equaling $2.45 on 7 winning bets. A deeper look reveals Peter's strategy is actually rather impressive. With one unit bets, Peter lost 1 times 5, equaling $5 on 5 losing wagers. With a poor 50% win rate, Peter actually made a profit of 50 cent units for every 10 bets. The bottom line, a high win rate does not guarantee profit. The only proper gauge of the success of a sports investor should be long-term profit and bankroll growth, not win rate. Successful system betting approaches can turn a profit with win rates as low as 37%. Yeah, 37%. Conversely, sports investors can win the vast majority of picks and still lose money. The only long-term measurement for success is profit, particularly when money management principles are properly applied to a winning system. So don't be fooled by all of these services out there featuring a high win rate. Ask them, shouldn't you be advertising profits? Profit is all that matters. Z-Code system has a proven, verified system. It is all about winning profits, so don't be misled by win rate numbers. Winning is all about profits and Z-Code system can show you real winning. So visit the website today 
and find out how you can win more profits with your sports betting.